I'm back with another video. So we are going to just hop right into it with Jealous Women. Um, okay, so let me just say first and foremost, I'm not coming on here to um talk about because it is those women that they feel like everybody jealous of them. Everybody hating on them. Um, they just the, A the SHIT and all of that, you know. That's what I'm not coming. I'm not coming on here to do that. But I will say, I will bring up certain instances to where I felt like there was some jealousy involved. And I'm going to use every little example of saying that a woman or just anybody is jealous of you. I, now, I made a three-part series to say that a guy is jealous of you or the guy that you date is jealous. Jealous women, when you meet them, first of all, I'm, first of all, I'm going to go... I'm going to go into social media first before I get to the uh, personal interactions where I had with certain women. So the first time, okay, so it was this woman that I went to high school with. Um, she was my Facebook friend or whatever. So she sent me a friend request. Now, let me just say this woman, um, we was never best friends. We knew each other. But, you know, um, this woman, it, this, this is how I am. If I see somebody online and they are like reaching certain milestones in their life to where they um accomplishing things, um they starting businesses, they um any little thing that they doing, I am one hundred percent supportive, especially of black women getting their own businesses, being bosses, and all of that. I'm now this this particular woman, she had a business that she had started or whatever, and so you know um she had made a post. Now, keep in mind, she sent me a friend request. She had made a post that said, if you know me, it, she said, she said, if you know me, comment something that you remember about me. And so I commented, I was like, yeah, you know, used to be cool or whatever like that. Um, This woman, she knew how to dress very well. And so a lot of the women that I follow on my page, they have great style. You know, I love fashion. And so this woman knew how to dress real well. And she was a beautiful woman. And so I commented on her stuff. I'm like, yeah, you was cool and stuff like that. Um. I was like, congratulations on your business, and um, I hope with the best wishes for you. So, it was other people. Now, let me let me just say this. I said this in a previous video to where I will not. Um, I stopped. Comp well, it's certain women to where I if they accomplish something, I congratulate them. But a lot of times, I won't even comment on women's posts because. In the last video where I talked about fake friends, like when you meet certain women, they give off a certain attitude. Like they be very snooty and snobby and they don't want to get to know you. Now, this woman, I already knew who she was. She knew me. But it was like when I commented on her post, um, it was other people commenting too, you know, leaving posts. When one thing, this is one thing I say, and I hate this. I talked to, I talked about, I talked about this with somebody. If somebody compl if somebody compliments you on anything, your business specifically the polite thing to do is to say thank you and y'all see why i'm going with this story she didn't have to say nothing to me if she didn't want to this is her page she don't have to say nothing but i felt like it was rude and i didn't really take it too personal i was just like oh okay you know you know when people uh the excuse of Oh, I ain't see your comment. You know, I don't usually be on Facebook like that and whatever the whatever little excuse they be making for why they didn't reply to your comment or at least react to it. You know, she ain't do none of that. But I did um see, I think I seen something where somebody commented. She coming back to them or whatever. But I was just thinking like, <laughs> and this woman, man, she knew how to dress very well. She was beautiful. That's what I'm saying. Like. I don't be understanding a lot of times with certain women because it's like, but after that, I had kind of um, passed it off or whatever. She was posting other things like pictures and stuff and I like it or whatever like that. I think um, after a while, I just removed her from my page because I think she had, um, I think she had posted something else of hers and I had congratulated her or something like that. She didn't say nothing. So I removed her from my page. I don't like being, um, social media friends or friends of women that are like that. They seem like they come across as if um they rule, you know, just for no reason. And I don't know. Like I ain't never did nothing to that girl. So uh I thought me and her was cool. 
And so when she wasn't replying to my comment and stuff, I'm just thinking like, you know, I'm thinking back to, you know, she sent me a friend request. And that goes into another thing, uh, what I had wanted to mention, um, fake friends video when I talked about social media play a lot, play a lot into, um, the fakeness with, with certain people. A lot of people, when they send you a friend request, first of all, social media is about numbers. It's about how many likes you can get, how many friends you can get. Now with me, I am friends on Facebook with a lot of people that I don't know. But the thing is, it's never really been about numbers to me because you really can make, you know, genuine um, friendships and connections with people on social media in certain instances. But with her, it seemed like she just only wanted to be my friend because we had a lot of mutual friends in common. Like we went to high school together. So a lot of the, the majority of your friends on social media are usually like people from high school, people you grow up with, friends, family, all of that. So I was thinking, you know, like, damn, she, she wasn't really trying to mess with me like that, you know? And so <laughs> I'm going to just bring up another instance. Now this other, this other girl and her go way, way back to grammar school. Like I say, I'll be, I'll be sitting up here trying to, I'll be really trying to figure out. Okay, so me and her went to private school together. I went to a private school during my preschool and head start years. And then after a while, I transferred over to um, public school. So me and her was friends um, during that time. And then once I went to public school, we didn't really speak or hang out as much as we used to. Like when I say me and this girl was close, we was best friends, like literally best friends, y'all. Like into, we was in the same classroom together. We had lunch together every day. Um, we used to play together at each other's house. Um, her grandmother used to talk to my grandmother. We oh everything. That's how close we was. And so, like I said in the other video, you do fall out with certain people. You grow apart from certain people. And so when I went to a public school, we we didn't hang out as much no more. And, um, but she was my friend on social media. Now, let me just say this. And I've been noticing this a lot with certain females that I have, um, either befriended or known for a long time. It seemed like on social media, they be your best friend. Like, Hey girl, how you doing? You know, liking pictures, comment, all that stuff. But then it's like, when you come in on some of theirs, because I noticed that she she did the same thing this other girl from high school did. But the only reason why I took it personal with her is because I had considered her a friend, you know. And so she kind of threw me off of her energy with this post I'm about to tell y'all she made. No, compliment me with a letter. So basically the, the uh, compliment, it got to start with one letter. And... I think I, I can't remember what compliment I had left her, but I noticed that she had like other people up under her um, page comment, you know, they look compliments. Say for instance, somebody said, you are a caring person. So you put C and you'd be like, C, because you are a caring person. L, because you are a loving person, that type of thing. And so I think that she was like, um, oh, I had left my compliment. And... You know, I'm just, I just got off my phone. I'm just manning my business or whatever like that. Then I started getting notifications. You know, you know how you leave a comment up under somebody's post and then you'll get a notification or whatever. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe this is how we plan back or whatever like that. So I literally go on under the post, y'all. She be playing back to everybody but me. And so at first I didn't, at first I didn't think none of it. I'm just like, okay, yeah, she'll get to me eventually. So I go back on Facebook. So, you know, just the stroll or whatever. But I see that she made a whole new post, you know. So I'm sitting up here thinking like, okay, she ain't replied back. She probably got off her phone for the rest of the day. Because a lot of people, they don't be on Facebook all day, you know. And so I'm thinking it's one of them instances. But then she had turned around and made a whole new post. And she ain't even, she ain't even react to it. She ain't coming back or nothing. And I'm just like, I'm just sitting here thinking like, okay, yeah, girl, she don't have to say nothing to you, but she don't, she don't have to reply back. But it's just like, I'm just like, <laughs> it was a couple of other posts that she had made to where I had liked some and left a con comment or something like that. She didn't reply back. After that, I just removed her off of my page because Like, it be those type of friends where 
it's just like you could tell that they just like coming from it seemed like they trying to be competitive or something with you or I don't know just some one up type of stuff that was the kind of vibe I was getting from her because it had went from her liking and commenting on my stuff and me doing you know returning the favor to her not saying nothing to me at all and I'm just like that's why that's another reason why I kind of wish we didn't have social media like a lot of times I feel like things was what should be the way that they used to be like with communication and stuff it seemed like with social media it just make it to where people just want to be competitive about the dumbest things it's just like social media just show you uh, social media just show you things about people that you didn't want to see like they it be showing you things about people that you um didn't recognize in the beginning like it's like it be exposing people in a way when she did that whole thing with her post and she, she didn't reply i didn't really take it too personal but it's just like i had to think like that you know but it's like I had that's why I stopped commenting on the women's posts because <sighs> it seemed like when you compliment a woman, that's that's how you will know that a woman has either a jealous or a competitive spirit about them. When you give them praises and compliments on anything that they're doing and uh they don't reply to you or they don't say thank you, that is extremely rude, you know. And then the first thing this part, th these same type of people they don't reply to nothing that you leave up under their page they be the main ones that now tell me tell me if i'm lying y'all they be the main people complaining talking about how don't nobody support them people be hating because they don't like their stuff and all this and that and which is understandable it is those certain instances situations where somebody will be very successful and family and friends and stuff will be hating on them they won't like they post they won't um support them or anything that they doing or none of that but they always watching you know that is that is true but it is certain women that get off on that type of stuff like it's almost as if they don't want you to congratulate them they want they don't want you to give them a compliment so that it can be this fake beef you know this secret animosity it's just like I never I never been that type of woman to be like competitive, um, jealous, just don't afraid to give another woman a compliment. I never been a lot of times I will be kinda leery about giving another woman a compliment because I have had those instances to where they just look at me funny or they just re real rude and standoffish and it's like first of all, I'm not gay. I'm not bisexual. I don't like women in any type of way. But it's okay if another woman compliments you. Okay? That's cool. It's okay for you to say thank you. But I'm going to use another instance of where I have felt like it was some sort of jealousy. It was it was another woman that was on my page, y'all. She had her own business as well. I had always been complimenting, you know, complimenting this woman and supporting her. And she was like a family friend. She wasn't really close to me like that, but she was a family friend. And so I kind of took it a little personal. I'm just like, you know, these be people that you know personally. And she had, I don't know what had happened. You know how you go through your Facebook memories and stuff like that. Now I had seen. Um, I always go through my t my Facebook memories. That's that's a way for you to reflect and see how far you came in life. So I'm going through my Facebook memories and I see um, she was under one of my tags. And so you know how you got those certain um, Facebook friends or you know social media friends. You be looking forward to their posts or whatever like that. So I just went on. You know these type of people, the people that you like. You you may periodically go lurk on their page just to see what they up to. You know. So I was about I was about to click on this woman page because I was going through my Facebook memories, and that thing said "Ed friend." <laughs> that thing said "Ed friend," and I'm like, I'm like, come again? I kept refreshing my page, y'all. Like I thought I was tweaking out. I'm like, "Ed friend," and you know what that means, "Ed friend." That means the person removed you from their page, and I'm just thinking like, what did I do to her? Like I had always been supporting this woman and everything, y'all. And she took me off of her page. I'm like, my God, like, it'd be certain instances like that. And it's just like, it'd be women, it, and it'd be so crazy because it'd be like, it'd be an instance the way you knew these women for a long time. And you always felt like you was cool with this person. But it's like when you become, 
that's why a lot of times I'd rather meet somebody in person versus them having my social media because it seems like every time you become friends with a woman or somebody else on um, social media, like it's like they switch up and it, it Tell me I'm not lying. I know I'm not lying. It's like they be trying to be competitive and stuff, and you can can't you can see it. You you notice it, and I'm not. I'm not finna. You know when somebody trying to compete with you and try to one up you and stuff like that. It's just like girl. I thought we was cool. What happened? You know why I'm getting these vibes from you as if you don't like me no more. You know we was we was cool at first. And that's like I said, like I feel like social media be bringing out the ugly in people. It really do. It be showing you things about them that you never, never seen before. That you never knew about them. And I'm just gonna use some other instances. Uh, it was another woman from my page. Um, now this was another beautiful woman. She, she was a. a okay, so the woman that I'm gonna talk about, she was a family friend of my cousin. She was a friend of my cousin's. And so this was around the time um, my cousin had passed away from COVID. And so I was really going through it at that time, you know, and this one particular Facebook friend um, knew my cousin's friend. So I went over to visit my cousin's friend this one time. And this said female was there and we were social media friends. And I didn't know her personally. I just remember from seeing her face. Like, she was another beautiful woman. Like I said, another gorgeous woman. Um, I was always liking her pose, you know. I may leave a comment here and there and stuff like that. And um, when I seen her, you know, Nadju, this was during the time I had lost my cousin. So I went in the best of moods. Like, a lot of times when I meet people, I usually be in a good mood. But some of the times I may not be having a good day. You know, this just had, this was just a bad day. And we didn't end up hitting it off like I thought we would. And... I didn't think she I don't think she knew what was going on with me or whatever like that but I noticed that um I think I had spoke to her and said hey or whatever we had a few words but we wasn't really um you know how you meet somebody you hit off with them y'all have a whole conversation and I think I just wasn't in the mood this time but it's just so crazy like it's like with the social media thing when you tend to run into people that you are social media friends with it's always this awkwardness you social media have made it to where you don't know how to you don't know how to interact with people normally when you see them in person you know and so this was one of these instances with this with this said female and after after that I noticed that she started making little subliminal posts online. And I know you probably listen to this like, girl, you always think somebody talking about you. Ain't nobody talking about you. She but I'm telling you, y'all, like, I literally don't be, I don't be looking for problems with nobody. Like, it literally just slapped me in my face. I won't notice it until it become persistent. You know, I won't notice it the first second. Sometimes I won't even notice it the third time. But if I notice that you like steady, like, you could tell when somebody throwing um subliminal throwing shots on, on land because this little post she made was very personal like to where she couldn't be she couldn't have been talking about nobody but me you know it was something about my um she made a comment about something about my features i ain't gonna say what because like i said i ain't trying to come on here and be messy but it was just like when she said it i'm just like i knew i knew i knew she was talking about me yeah i'm telling you um when people make subliminal posts they be very indirect but it's direct you know they they try to put it into way put it they try to make the post in a way to where you can't you you'll think that they speaking generally you know but the sublim the uh the shade is going to be so direct to where you are going to know that they are talking about you specifically um people know what they're doing when they make a sublim post they want the person that the post is meant for it to see it, you know, to get a reaction, um, to get um up under this person's skin, you know. And so I didn't say nothing um back, uh, you know, when she made when I seen she made the post, I just unfollowed her. I didn't remove her from my page. I just unfollowed her because, like I said, I'm not I'm not one for drama. If you make a subliminal post and I feel like it's about me, I'm gonna either block you from my page or I'm going to um unfollow you. I'm not gonna feed back into um negativity. That's that's stupid to me, you know. That's immature. Um, a lot of women just want to start, you know, start stuff for no reason when you haven't done nothing to this person. And she had came across as one of those type of females who was just super mean, you know. Um, 
those women you mean they be mean for no reason and i told y'all in previous videos i was bullied um in school and so i don't want to be friends with women that are mean you know for no reason or they come off as the type of person that like to pick with people or bully people um she was a beautiful woman but she had some ugly qualities about her that i wasn't really feeling and so i didn't want her on my page no more and it's just like us women can't get along for nothing in this world why can't we get together and it, it just be cool no jealous no jealousy no competitiveness no um mean girl vibes a lot of people a lot of people get off on it and that's another thing I, why i say i never really um they had too many friends some women like being mean you know they just be mean for no reason they get off on it um a lot of the times those girls be part of cliques and groups and stuff and i'm gonna bring up another instance that happened to me um two other story times so where i feel like these women was giving off just mean girl vibes you know these gonna be some story times so whatever you're doing if you need some food or a drink go and get it because girl <laughs> I gotta call out the jealousy, okay? A lot of times with us women, we, we don't wanna bring it up because it's like the elephant in the room. You don't wanna address the elephant in the room. A lot of times I like to ignore stuff like that. I don't like to feed into um negative energy. And so if I sense it coming in my direction, I just won't even pay no mad to it. But certain women just be, they just be so intentional with the way they are it's just like you can't have you ain't had no other choice but to see it or you know to address it but it was this other woman on my page and i went to high school with her and <sighs> why do we have social media why do we have facebook why do we have instagram why do we have snapchat why do we have all these different social media platforms why can't it be just how, how it used to be back in the day why why do things always have to be weird <laughs> why can't we just be normal us women with each other why we just can't be normal why can't we be a sisterhood and all these women that i'm mentioning to y'all these are sisters black women <sighs> okay so this other girl we wasn't friends but i knew her from school and so just like with the social media thing she sent me a friend request and so, um, I'm just going to get straight to what made me remove her from my page. So, I had ended up running into her at a grocery store. And let me just say, you know how you meet those certain women? Is they come off as, like, you know, they want a lot of attention. This, this was that female. So, when I met her... Like I said, with social media, you perceive with someone a certain way on social media. And then when you meet them in person, it'd be something completely different. Now, when I seen this girl online and stuff, I was thinking, you know, she was friendly. Um, she another beautiful woman, um, knew how to dress very well. So we was in a grocery store and I had ended up seeing her in passing. So I was, I was about to get ready and go to checkout. And it was like, okay, y'all, so this grocery store is big. So it was like 20 checkout lanes. But for some strange reason, she ended up behind me, you know? So this, this was the vibes I was picking up from her. Just from her persona online, she came across as she wanted to be seen. And so when she was behind me, you know how somebody would say something through their energy? They don't have to open their mouth. She was giving off this whole vibe as if she wanted me to notice her and speak to her. She was giving off this whole vibe of, um, oh, I'm here. You know, you, you gotta, you gotta speak to me first kind of thing. And that type of stuff is like, I don't know. I don't like women that are, um, come across as if they like think they better than somebody or you know when i met her i, I was like i was thrown off because i thought it was i thought she was gonna be cool but she was like kind of rude and mean like when i think that she was behind me i turned around because it was so awkward yeah it was it was almost as if 
I had to speak to her because she was just right there, you know? And she said, and I'm going to just get to the other part of the story where I felt like it was weird, you know? And I, I looked at her and I was like, you know how you see somebody and you see a familiar face and you be like, dang, I know this person. I seen their face before. I'm like, that's my Facebook friend. And then I had to think like, I seen you somewhere because I turned around. I tried to make some interaction with her because she was just standing there. It was just like she was giving off this real cold standoffish energy. But she it was like she wanted to be noticed so bad, you know. So I was trying to make some personal interaction. I, I was trying to speak to her. I was like, hey, you know, I was like, I was like, I know you. I was like, we, we she named the high school. And then it didn't click to me that we did go to the same high school together. I had I didn't notice it until she mentioned it to me. But I did remember that she sent me a friend request. She sent me three friend requests. I swear to you, I am not lying. That's why when I seen her at the grocery store and she gave off that weird rude energy, I was kind of thrown off by it because I'm thinking she's going to be friendly. And so when we, you know, we can say hey to each other, whatever. She was just kind of like real dismissive. Like, okay, yeah, we know each other type of thing and i'm just like she came off she came off as very snobby and um arrogant and i don't like women like that you know i've had uh, so many people come back and tell me that other people have gossiped about me and said that i was a very stuck up person and that is not how i am yeah i swear to you i cannot come on here and make up nothing i'm not like that when people see a woman that's um you know into fashion um whatever they tend to associate that with arrogance, cockiness, all of that. But that's not how I am, y'all. Anybody that really knows me personally will tell you that I'm an extremely humble and sweet person. They they will tell you that. Um, But this girl, I'm going to get back to this girl, y'all. So after we had that little weird interaction, it was just like... I was standing in checkout lane. I was trying to check check my items out. She was just standing behind me. And it was just like... It was weird because it's just like, damn, you know, we Facebook friends and... I can't even get a half bath from you. I can't get. Dang, how's your day going? You know, um, what you up to? Uh, what's going on with you? You got any plans later? Like, what you got going on? Like, you just standing behind me as if you want me to. It was almost as if she wanted me to um kiss her, kiss her butt, and try to kiss up to her, try to be friends with her, be cool with her. And I'm just, I'm just, I was just thrown off by her, her um attitude. And it was almost as if I swear to y'all. The way she, her, her approach came off, it was almost as if she was following me through the grocery store. You know, because this, this is the one thing I could say. Another thing that I don't like about social media that I have noticed with certain women. Even 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 now I have came across, I have got this from certain women that I knew personally. It's like when you become their friend on social media, it'd be so weird. Y'all so hard to explain, but I'm trying to sum it up to where y'all can understand. They be giving off this vibe as if they some type of celebrity or something. Like like you one of their fans or something like that like you gotta be oh hey you know you're my friend um i want to be your friend like that's how she was acting like she wanted me to kiss up to her or something and i'm just like girl you rude first of all i was trying to make some interaction with you to try to get to know you and you was very um dismissive with me you know i don't another reason why i ain't got no friends yeah <laughs> another reason it's like it, it was just like, I think I was, she had made me so, I was so uncomfortable, y'all, after that little weird interaction I had with her. I was so uncomfortable. I was dropping stuff on the floor. <laughs> I told my sister the story, y'all, I had her damn laughing. Because I was just tripping out. I'm like, I was dropping water on the floor as I was in the checkout lane. And she ain't helped me pick them up or none of that. I'm like, I'm sitting up there dropping shit. And she was just standing there like, <laughs> you got you to gotta speak to me first, sweet. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, I swear to y'all, I cannot make none of this up. But after that whole little thing, I just, um, I sent a couple of more of her posts um, on Facebook after that little interaction at the grocery store. And after that, I just, um, I just removed off of my page because she, she was making, she made, she made a certain post. That's how I say every time it's always a subliminal post. So I remove people up off of my page. She made something, a she made a post about, I can't remember what she said, y'all. Oh, she said, this is why, this is how I knew I was right on the money about this girl. 
she ain't said some up under her post talking about some bees be on your page and don't never like nothing they be some straight up haters or something like that um it was it was something she said it just rubbed me the wrong way and i removed her from my page because it was like i was liking her post at first at first before before i ran into her and she was rude to me i stopped liking her post and i think she noticed that and so that's why she put up that subliminal post talking about some bees um be on your page and don't never like nothing they be hating or something like that but when she said that i'm like i'm gonna take off my page and i was just sitting there thinking like girl when i met you in person you was real nasty and rude to me why would you expect for me to still um interact with you and like your post after you was after you was rude with me that's that was another that's another thing i say about social media to where people don't know how to interact with you in person everything everything is social media even when in the reality out in the real world people will be so weird when they see you in person they don't know how to interact normally they give off this persona and i have met a lot of people that are like this when you meet them is they be giving off this vibe as if they're a celebrity or something or they think they better than somebody you know i don't like people like that you know and I hate when people try to group me in like that and say that I'm stuck up or arrogant and stuff. I am not like that. I do not like people like that. I do not click with people like that at all. Um, it's, It was like with the whole social media thing, it's always about numbers. Now, she, she, um, a lot of people care about them likes. The likes that they get on their pictures or whatever type of posts they make. They, they care about the numbers more than the people you know a lot of these people that like they post they don't know them in real life they don't have those normal interactions with those people they just want their popularity and so she was in her feelings when she said that i wasn't really uh, liking her post like that no more and so i'm getting to the last story time y'all now this is Okay, so my sister invited me to this rooftop party. When was this? A couple of summers ago. And when I went, you know, I was wanting to have a good time. And this was this was when everybody here kind of stopped wearing their mask. And so, you know, I want to get out, have some fun, cool vibes or whatever like that. So, we get there. And imagine you, the people that, that were there. I knew all these people. These were friends of my sister's. And it was some other people that, that I knew, just mutually. And one thing I'll say is my sisters and brothers, they have a lot of friends where I live. And I know a lot of these people through my, my uh, brothers and sisters. So let me just say, these are not my friends. These one particular woman that I had a negative encounter with was the host of the party now in my last video i said this is why i don't like going out in groups with women and going to um i just like being solo because women just be catty for no reason you know this woman when i got the you know we had we had to pay for tickets or whatever and so she had her vip girls the vip girls they um Okay, so when I got there, the vibes was cool or whatever like that. And so my sister, I could tell that my sister really wanted me to uh, have a good time. Everything was cool until I started getting weird vibes from the host of the party. Now, how, it all, how this is how it all started. This, how, this is how I knew it was going to be some BS, y'all. One of the women at the party, I knew who she was. She did. This is what happened. So... My sister went over to one of the uh, friends and said, oh, did you, um, did you see Kiana? And this friend said, oh yeah, I seen her, I spoke to her and she ain't say nothing. Now, I can't recall this woman coming over to speak to me. I, I didn't, you don't have to come over and speak to me. This is what I'm trying to say. You don't have to come speak to me at all but don't try to make it seem like you came and spoke to me when you did you didn't say nothing to me 
let me just say it had already been some love stuff in the past that happened between certain people so when she said she spoke to me i already knew what was behind all of that you know and so i'm just like i'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to put this in a way to where i'm not really seeing too much but i'm not gonna leave my sister nowhere by my by herself i'm riding with my family either way you know y'all not finna team up on my sister you know my sister wanted me to come to this party because she wanted me to have a good time but i really felt like my sister wanted me to come because she didn't want to feel like she was by herself and so i wasn't about to leave her you know you're not my friend you're her friends so i don't have to kiss up to y'all you know she said she spoke to me and i swear to y'all i do not remember this girl speaking to me at all so that's kind of what made the uh, energy shift I went from enjoying myself, really thinking I was going to come out and have a good time to this. And so the host of the party, first of all, let me just say, she was rude with her approach. I didn't know her. I knew of her, but I didn't know her personally. When she came over to me, she asked me who I was. I think she kind of had a feeling of who I was. I'm my sister's sister. That's who I am, you know? I didn't say it like that, but I just told her my name. My name is Kiana. And she was like, oh, okay. You know, she was real short with me. And, you know, I didn't really take it no way. And I just kept on trying to enjoy myself. My sister asked me now, this this party that she hosted, she had um, gift bags for her VIPs. Me and my sister was not a VIP. I think I was a plus one or something like that. And I think that's what made it even more awkward because even though I came, I was getting vibes as if I wasn't welcome there. Like, they didn't want me there. You know, that was the vibes I was getting. The host was giving off attitude and vibes as if, oh, I know you bought your ticket, but why did you come? Like, why are you here? Type of thing. And so, just like, she was very nasty with me, y'all. Imagine, I'm sitting here with a Blake face. When I told y'all I am a quiet, introverted person, I was not at this party bothering nobody out. I was literally just trying to enjoy myself. Try to socialize. Couldn't even do that because the vibes were so weird. When the vibes are weird, you can't be... You can't enjoy yourself. You can't be normal because... It was just like, man, y'all. My sister asked me if I had got one of the bags. She had made special bags for her, for her, uh, her VIP girls. She asked me if I had one. I said no. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting so tired telling this story. But all these negative encounters I've had with women is why I do not have friends. Why I stay to myself. Why I try to protect my energy at all times. I don't be doing nothing to nobody. When I say I don't do nothing to nobody, I don't say nothing to nobody. People just be wanting a reason not to like you. And when my sisters, I could tell my sister really wanted me to enjoy myself. And she kept asking. It was just like she was kind of pushing and pushing. I was just, I'm like, sister, I'm good, you know. Um, I was, I was kind of ready to leave. But I was trying to just take one for the team and just stay there with my sister, you know. And so, <sighs> and she kept asking me about the VIP bag. She was like, I'll go get you one. I'm like, no, nah, sis, no, nah, I'm good. She came, the lady came, the host of a party came over. She had the bags in her hand, you know. This was what I was thinking. I didn't say this. I'm like, she had VIP bags in her hands for the people that she wanted to have one. If she wanted me to have one, she would have gave, gave me one. So you don't have to go get no bag for me. Because like I said in the other videos, I don't beg for friends. You don't have to give me no VIP bag. You, know, you don't have to give me no gift bag. I didn't want one. Her attitude was so nasty. I just was ready to go, you know. Like, I'm good, sister. And this woman was so nasty. I'm not saying nasty, nasty. For no reason, y'all. This just go back to what I tell when I tell you that you know somebody been talking bad about you. I'm pretty sure that girl that claimed that she spoke to me in the beginning went back and told her about me. Um, it was it was some little drama that happened with my sister and these women a while back, you know. And so, of course, it's going to be awkward, weird energy with me being that. So being that I'm her sister, being that I'm going to go to bed for man, you know, y'all not going to team up on my sister, me or my sister. OK, 
That's what you're not gonna do. But you're not finna come at me. You know, if you don't want me here, then I, we can just leave. This is why I say. Before you agree to go out to places with people, <laughs> oh, you know how they, they got the little meme online where they say, say they ask the person, um, who all gonna be there? And stuff like that. I'm just like, and then I was thrown off too because I'm like, when when I seen this this female that said she claimed she came over and spoke to me out, but I swear I do not remember this girl coming over to say hey and hello, nothing to me. I thought we was cool. I thought we was cool, yeah. The drama that happened a long time ago with certain people, that had nothing to do with me and her. Me and her had always been cool, from my understanding. But. <sighs> The host of the party, y'all. Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to just leave off. Um, My head got caught up doing something. So, basically, after the whole rooftop thing, I had left. And I had forgot to put another uh, point in the story why me and the uh, girl, the one that claimed that she spoke to me, it clicked to me why we didn't, um, why was that energy between us, that nasty energy. You know how you don't realize, like, when you sit down and actually think about stuff, you be like... Dang, why was this person acting like this towards me? That was why, you know? And so this was the main point I forgot to bring up. So I told y'all about my my uh, mother's passing. So basically me and this uh, girl that she claimed that she spoke to me. It was a reason why I was getting this um nasty energy from her. She don't know that I knew this, that somebody came back and told me this. But something had happened where, so y'all already know what happened to my mother. Okay, so at my mother's funeral, somebody came back and told me that she was looking the she was looking my men up and down. You know, the dude that I was with at the time. Remember the story time I told y'all about the fake friend and my dude. Me and him lived together. That's that's the guy that I'm talking about. You know, my children's father. I was told by somebody that she um was basically, I don't know, in some way trying to make a pass at him at my mother's funeral. And like I said before, me and this girl, I had always thought that she was really cool. You know, never had no issues with her. But then when I heard this about her, I looked at her totally different. You know, so... The one thing, I, it surprised me because this woman, I always thought, I had always looked at her like she was real classy, you know, very beautiful, very, um, I had kind of, it was, it was so shocking to me because I had looked up to her, you know, and so when I had heard that she had did this, you know, I just, I don't know, I kind of lost respect for her. I did not see her the same at all. I thought that was extremely disrespectful for her to do that, you know. You're here at my mother's funeral, but you're basically trying to make a pass at my man, you know? And so, we ran back all the way back to the party, the rooftop party. This is years and years. And like I said, my mother passed away 11 years ago. This this little run in at the party, this just happened um last year. When she said she seen me and she spoke to me, I knew that it was some fakeness behind it. You know? When I seen her, I wasn't even thinking about that. You know, I wasn't thinking about what somebody had told me. I have, I actually had forgot about, I had forgot all about that. I just thought about it just now because I was really trying to sit up here and figure out, okay, why, you know, I was getting weird raps from her like that. I had always thought she was cool, you know, but then it may all made sense to me. That was why, you know, and so maybe she had a thing or liking for my man and, that's why she had a problem with me, you know? But after that whole thing, um, I'm going to jump back to the host of the party, y'all. So, the, the, reason why, the reason why I say I knew that this host didn't like me was because I had ended up running into this woman shortly after this party. And when I seen her, she did not speak. She did not say nothing to me.
That's how I knew that she she had a she had an issue with me. She didn't like me, even though she didn't know me. She did not speak to me, and that's why I want to end the story off and say, when it comes to jealous, competitive, mean women, the women that I spoke about in the story, they're going to be showing all those signs that I just said. Be a mature woman. Don't feed into the negativity because sometimes it can be tempting, especially when you feel like somebody's steady trying to push your buttons in, try to poke at you and stuff like that. It's hard for you to stay in character when you got people like that around you. But never stoop to that person level. But don't come out of your character for nobody. You know, people are going to be the way that they are. You can't change nobody. But you can, you can change how you deal with it. And so hopefully y'all enjoyed this video of saying to know that a woman is jealous, competitive, or just a mean and nasty person. I didn't give y'all more than enough sense. I'll see y'all in another video.